Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I thought I would take things a little bit old school and do a hairstyles tutorial video. So I have three hairstyles that I really love and that I've kind of been going to every now and then if I fancy doing something a little bit fancy. These hairstyles are perfect if you're going back to school or uni. Um, luckily for me, not doing either of those this year, which is very weird. But if you are going back to school or uni, I hope it goes well. Wishing you lots of luck. So anyway, these hairstyles, some of them are very easy. And then there's one that took me a little bit of time to sort of learn. Um, but the end result of it is really cool. So it's worth bearing with. So yeah, I'm going to get started and show you guys the hairstyles. Okay, Jose. So hairstyle number one is a super easy one. It's just some little braids at the front. This I was inspired by the film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood with Margot Robbie and I don't know if she had it in the film with this hairstyle but in the, at the premiere I think she had this hairstyle and I just thought it was really sweet. It's basically just a few little braids at the front. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how I would do it. I have a mirror just in front of me if I'm looking over this way, I might pull it around a bit. I'm just gonna send most of my hair to the back and take down the front bits and I'm going to take my shorter bits first and braid those. So you just want to grab them in a really relaxed way, don't do these too tight and literally just braid them really loosely down. And then when you get so that you have a little bit of length at the end, and then take a hairspray, this is the Tresemme Freeze Hold, and I'll just spray the end and back comb it up a little bit. And that should be enough to keep your braid there. And then at the top, so that it doesn't just fall down your face, if you just pull out bits of the braid, so it kind of frames your face. And then I'll just take another little section from behind and braid that down too. I'm not starting too high up at the head because I want this to look really just effortless. And then when you run out of bits to braid, just hairspray again, rub it in a bit, back comb a tiny bit and it stays. So that's one side done and I'm going to go and do this side and then I'll come back. So there we have it, that is the first hairstyle done. That was so quick. <laughs> and I actually love it, I think it's so cute. So yeah, really happy with that one. On to the next. This next hairstyle is the one that took me a while to get. Um, so you're gonna wanna start by brushing your hair through. So you don't want to have too many tangles to face with this one. And you're going to get rid of your centre parting or whatever parting you have. And the tool you'll need the most for this hairstyle is clear elastic bands. These ones are from Primark. They were one pound for all of these and they're actually really good because they're quite thick. So you're going to start by basically creating lots of little ponytails all the way down the back of your head. So I'm going to start with one up here. And I'm going to take the elastic band and just tie it nice and reasonably tight. And then you're just going to want to flip this over the front of your face so that you don't get the next layer in. And you're just going to take a little layer back and then take another little hair tie and tie that back in the same place down the centre of your head and then you want to bring that one forward with the other ponytails so that you don't get them in so I've just created two ponytails like that and then I'm just going to carry on doing this all the way down the back of my head front bits start getting really annoying you can just tie them with a thicker hair tie out of the way So 
So now I have a full head of small ponytails running down the back. And now comes the fun bit. Don't worry about these bits at the front to start with. You can just push them out and sort them later. So I've just come down here so that it's easier to show. So you just split the first one in two and you're going to skip the next one and attach it to the one underneath that. Basically just going around the outside of that one and attaching it to the one underneath. And then you do the same with the next one, you just split it. Lift up the next one, miss that one out, and then attach it to the next one underneath. And then with the one that was lifted up, again just split it in half, lift up the one underneath, and attach to the one that is next. And you just keep doing that until you reach the last one. And then because this last one won't have somewhere to go, you just take it and tie it underneath just as its own ponytail. And then you can just keep doing that with all the other layers that are on top. So just bring it round the back, tie it into another ponytail and literally just keep going down into the braid. Another tip I have with doing centre braids and just any sort of centre braid is to not take it to the side and do it because otherwise when you put it back it will go a bit wonky. <laughs> I have made that mistake way too many times. So just try and focus on keeping it completely straight down the back of your neck. This is quite a time consuming braid so if you're going to school or something you might want to wake up a little bit earlier to do this. <laughs> this is what the braid should look like before we do any pulling out or anything. Obviously this doesn't look so great. <laughs> okay and then for pulling out the braid, I've just got a mirror down here so I can see what I'm doing. Um, you just want to start like massaging out the little, each little bit. <laughs> Know what you'd call these bits, slowly manipulating bits of hair out. And then make sure you check the front is how you want it. And then at the front, I like to just mess everything up a little bit, make it look nice and wispy. And that is the pull through braid. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> But I just think it looks so cute. And also the great thing about this braid is you know it's not going anywhere because it's got so many little plastic <laughs> hair ties in it. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below about this braid and if you're going to try it out or not. It would also be really nice if you left like a few little bits out of the front just to sort of frame the face as well. But if you want to just have all your hair away, it's also really great for doing that. So yeah, that's hairstyle number two. And then my final braided hairstyle is pretty easy, but it also can take a little while. I love the look of the two little Dutch braids going down the head, um, but I also am obsessed with fishtail braids still. I always just think fishtails look a little bit more exciting. Unless you're going for that real like slick look with the braid, then the Dutch braid is quite good. So you just want to part a centre parting all the way down the back of your head. And I'm just going to tie one half away so we can work on the other side first and then come back to this. So you just want to take two pieces and you're just going to start by adding two small sections over the top. So put it over the top and add it to the other side. Take a little bit, take a little bit over the top and on the other side. Just 
Take a little bit, take a little bit over the top. And on the other side. Just like with a fishtail, how you, how you have to take little bits each time. Take a little bit, take a little bit. And add it to the other side. Okay, and then when I get to the bottom, I'm just gonna secure it with a hair tie. And then I'm gonna do the other side exactly the same and come back to you. So I've now braided both sides and I'm just going to pull them out slightly just to give them a bit of volume. And then I'm gonna take a little hairpin and a section of hair from underneath and I'm gonna give it a quick hairspray. Rough it up a little bit. And I'm going to put it around the hair tie. And I like to pin as I go along um, so that it stays because I find often when I do this it will come out really quickly if I don't put lots of pins in it. And then I'm just going to split this ponytail in half and create a really sweet little fishtail. I'm not going to go too long because I quite like having quite long sections at the end of fishtails. And as you can see I'm leaving a reasonable amount of length just because I like the way it looks. And then I'm just going to tease out this fishtail braid. So there we have it, that is the last little braided hairstyle. I hope you guys like this one. Again, it is a little bit time consuming, but I think it's really sweet. And yeah, a little bit different. I quite like it with the little break in the middle so you don't go completely all the way down. You could obviously just not do this bit and just carry it on down. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below which hairstyle was your favourite and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!